Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Mrithul from Bimbal Designs. Today I'm going to teach you all how to model a simple white body fender. And yes, it will be a proper tutorial. So we're gonna start up with this Swift, the older version, the first Swift. We are starting with this because in my beginning days I also learned on this only. I started modeling with this only. So yeah, we'll start with it. First of all, uh, you almost know some shortcuts for the views, as you can see here. P is for perspective view, that is what is it in right now. And then the U is for orthographic, F is for the front, L is for the left view, T is for the top view, and B is for the Many a times it happens that you press any key for the view and the model doesn't fit the frame so just press z it will fit the frame like this this is very far away so i'll press z and it will come to the frame so yeah some modeling has already been done on it like the diffuser the spoiler and all the front lip this is very basic i did it in my beginning days yeah so starting with we'll press l for the left view and then here create so we'll select a cylinder and then from the approximate center of this uh, one more thing before starting uh, we can press f3 for wireframe view and f4 if you want to see the edges now we'll start first we'll create a cylinder from the approximate center just drag it till here till the approximate die of the wheel then as you can see as i move the mouse the height of the cylinder is changing press alt press the scroll key and you can move it like this now this is what the height is adjusting for if i do this it will convert into positive and negative height so we will set it whatever it is now press w w now press w what w does it it enables the move feature select and move this cylinder is right now under the car so we can see it through the wireframe mode by pressing f3 and we will be back at same mode by pressing f3 again now we will just these are the three axes on which the object moves so we can shift this point of axis also that i'll teach you later now what we will do is we go to the modifier we can we have already adjusted the radius so we don't need to change that the height we don't need any specific height so let's keep it 20 mm then height segments these segments uh, right click on the arrow and you will get to the base value of the height uh, in anything this is applicable this is another trick uh, if I for example if I press right mouse button on the arrow like this then it will go to its base value same as this the base value and control Z undo all this so we don't need any height segments while it's a cylinder we need to uh, give cap segments cap segments is giving segments on the face of the cylinder on this face and on this face we only need one so i'll give two gap segments on this one is this circle and one will be the outer circle so what this does is this gives us the polygons on this face for working this is what we actually need we don't need this now right click convert to a table poly then when you drop down you will see many options like vertices edges border polygonal element everything has different uses when we press vertices we can see the blue dots over here this is the individual vertice of the polygon we have created okay so what we'll do is we'll, we'll press t we'll press t uh, we'll go into the top mode we'll select these vertices and press delete because we don't need that now press l again z this will fit in whatever you have selected in the screen 
just so as you know this whole thing the swift model i created when i was just a beginner like it was my first or second model first was a porsche 911 and second was this one as you can check out my profile on instagram first i used to sketch cars then i got into 3d modeling and since then i've been here now for making a simple wide body fender first we need to get the basic shape of the fender so first of all while select while having been selected the vertex select the center vertex and press delete we'll get a hollow space in between next according to the wheel arc we need to set these vertices we'll select we'll be on the move we should have selected the move tool select and move tool then we can adjust it according to the individual axis like selecting individual axis we can move it or we can just press in the center and we can move it freely so first of all we'll move it freely then place it along with the wheel arc this is a very generic way of making a wide body a simple wide body fender so what we need is supposedly i i need a fender from this point till this point only like this will be the arc length of the fender a simple fender so what we'll do is we'll select the rest of them which we don't need and we'll delete them now what we'll do we want to see what's behind so we'll make it transparent by pressing alt plus x okay now what we'll do is we just got our wheel arc here what we'll do is we'll just press the edge we'll select one edge by pressing on it and here we'll select loop it will select all the edges connected to it now we'll press r r will be our scale this scale can be either uniform or not uniform now what we'll do is we'll press the shift button and click here and drag what this will do is this will make new polygons from the edges we have selected now what we have to do is we have to select the vertices press w for getting the move option then we get to align these these should be aligning in the straight line and approximately this width should be equal for all as you can see we can like increase the size from here to here then decrease here right okay so now what we'll do is we'll delete these vertices as we don't need this now as you can see we got a basic shape of our fender we'll add just some little thing now what we'll do is we'll select on the main heading of the drop down we see that this is far away from the car now we'll drag this in the x-axis in the axis in which the wheel is and the car is so we'll take an approximate of how wide we want it like i wanted this wide okay you can rotate like this by pressing alt and the uh, scroll key like i've told earlier now we'll select the vertex now what we'll do is we'll select this and push it towards the car now when it reaches approximately the surface will stop we'll do the same for the others also now you can see what is happening is this surface is going under the surface we'll solve that later first of all we approximately need to touch these okay so once we have done with this what we'll do is we'll press l z then what we'll do is we'll select the edge now we we'll select these edges which i'm selecting after that we'll go down here we'll press this settings for the connect we can see another edge is formed along the edges we have selected earlier 
now this can be one two three four any number we can select from here we'll select the tick option and what we'll do is this is already selected then we'll push it out a little bit like this what this did is this pulled that surface from underneath that surface so we'll adjust it a little bit now we'll press alt x to make it unhindered we'll change the color from here now as you can see it has taken an odd shape of the fender like we wanted so we'll adjust it a little more now what we'll do is we'll select edge now the basic shape is complete now we'll smoothen it out like the rest of the car we'll select this edge then this then this then this then this, then this. what we'll do is we'll select this line of edges you can select either either of them individually or you can just select one and press loop it will connect all the attached edges now what we'll do is we'll go here settings of the chamfer now as you can see this edge is chamfered but it is a lot it is 10 mm so we'll right click on the arrow to make it zero again to change it to its base value then we we'll slowly start to increase as we increase this we see this now it is increasing also now when we reach the desired we'll now this what this will do is this will create a flat surface between these two surfaces to make it curved we can insert in some more edges for this what will this will do is this will provide a curve now press tick now a basic shape is ready this now we made is a very low poly fender so make so insert in some more polygons press L then Z to bring it into the frame now press edge select these edges once you select these edges press loop this will select the hole then settings for the connect then one one more or two more edges per set now select one side press loop then adjust it now these new edges have to be adjusted according to the curve so i'll be following the curve and adjusting these along with them press one select loop then adjust similarly with all of them So now as we can see when we have adjusted them a little bit the fender becomes automatically smooth earlier it was showing many faces we will adjust this bit right here so what we can do is go to the wireframe we can see the hidden edges now what we have done is we have given a shape to the fender now additional things you can do is you can select this the sorters and this sorters do a loop then connect uh, select this loop and then again same for this side now you can do is you can just press shift and drag what will what this will do is this will create an internal surface it will create a, it will create a closing surface for this now after doing this you can see our fender is very clean you can either provide chamfer on these sides also to prevent these sharp edges or you can just leave it like that or give it any other shape 
can properly shape it from here also just by adjusting the vertices from here. So this was my tutorial. Thank you guys for watching it. Please subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, press that like button. Please follow my Instagram account at Bimble Designs. If you have any query, uh, you can let me know in the comment section or you can DM me on my Instagram account. Please share your reviews on this video in the comment section only. I would love to hear from you guys if I should make more tutorials or not. Thank you for watching.